Welcome to the Value Add with me, Alex Pierce. This is kind of a part two of the previous episode of the From the Value Add, where we talked about the changes that Microsoft have announced around the storage and pulled storage in Microsoft 365 Education Tenancies. I thought it was important to share more around actually how you collect and understand the amount of storage that you've already got, but it's not a simple, let's just look at what we've got in SharePoint, OneDrive or Exchange. There is actually a few areas that we should be looking to get a real clear understanding of what our storage is. You might think you're using more, you might think you're using less, but let's make sure we clarify and that's exactly what we're going to do today. So let's get stuck in. So I've logged in as a global administrator into my Microsoft 365 education tenancy. Now, being honest with you, this is my demo tenancy. There is not huge amounts of users and uh, data inside this tenancy. So you're going to see a few kind of smaller figures when we go through it. But the structure and the layout for any kind of Microsoft 365 education tenancy is exactly the same. So what I want to do, there is some areas for us to be able to see our storage and what we have used at this moment in time. So what I'm going to do is just click on show all and you'll see under reports, we've got storage. And that collectively gives us the amount of storage we've used across those three products of OneDrive, Exchange and SharePoint. The thing is, is that if you remember from the original announcement from Microsoft, we are only using some elements of Exchange for this pooled storage. Others can grow and we don't necessarily have to worry about these things. So this isn't actually a true reflection on the amount of storage we are using inside of our Microsoft 365 tenancy. To get that, we actually have to go to a different area. So again, if we actually go to reports, we'll see that we have usage which gives a lot more granular information around how these different applications from forms to teams are actually being used and actively used by users on a daily basis. So I can see from my OneDrive here, actually I've got the number of accounts, the amount of files that are in here, but I can see here my storage, as you can kind of see, it's 108 meg at this moment in time. I can go to SharePoint. And I can see the amount of files, pages, and users being active, but I need to click on this site usage, which gives me a bit more information. And on this third graph along, you can see the amount of storage that I'm currently using across the SharePoint sites. That includes the data inside a document library within Teams as it uses SharePoint as that main area. For Exchange, what we have to remember is that we are only looking at user mailboxes and shared mailboxes. So if we go to mailbox usage in this tab across the top here, you can see that we've got storage and it's telling us the amount of user storage we have used. So we're about a gig here. And you'll notice the little drop down where it says user here. Then we go to shared. And as you can see, I've actually got no shared mailboxes. So that's down to a zero at this moment in time. But group mailboxes are not within this exchange area around usage. To see that, we have to go to the Microsoft 365 apps. And then we actually have to go to group activity. And as you can see on our fourth graph along here, we've actually got the storage allocation. And it's actually giving us around the SharePoint sites and also the mailbox storage as well. So here, obviously, we're looking at that mailbox storage because we've already got our SharePoint number, that being that 6.3 megabytes at this moment in time. As a value added tip, what we want to do here is start keeping a bit of a log as well. If we keep a log, we can also see some trends. We can understand what's going on with our storage allocation, and then we can do any kind of changes, archiving, third party tools according to how we see that data growing. So as that value added tip, we're going to say date, we're going to monitor the user mailboxes, the shared, the group. We're also going to put in here the SharePoint and also the OneDrive. And because it's all kind of collected together, we're going to have a total as well of that Microsoft allocation. 
application. So today, data recording is the 14th of August, 2023. The user mailbox was roughly 120 gig. Our shared was around 20. We've got groups. So let's make that just five. It's not very big. Our SharePoint, where well, we migrated all our files to the cloud. So we're actually near a thousand because we've got a terabyte worth of that. And the same from our SharePoint. So let's make that around 1.2 terabytes. So if we do a sum on these, get our total being, there you go, total there, about 2.3 terabytes. So for our next month, as you can see here, if I just put in some figures very quickly, we can see that the storage allocation is for mailboxes is roughly going up. Our groups and our shared isn't really changed very much. Our SharePoint's gone up ever so slightly, but our OneDrive is going up significantly more. So then if we just drag this down for autofill, we can see how our storage then is starting to increase bit by bit over time. Nice little table formatting on it. We now can start to see the amount of data that is being used across our tenancy. And actually, we can see that there's a lot more going on and increase percentage wise within our OneDrive than there is necessarily anywhere else. So, doing that over time will certainly help us to understand things and how our data storage is going up and being done. And if you've got a policy or some kind of governance that you're going to put in place to make sure that this is done, you can make sure you do this on a monthly basis that is really going to significantly help you to understand what's going inside your Microsoft 365 Education Estate. I do hope you found this video useful to know the actual places to go for the usage. Remember, it's not the whole of Exchange. It is only three areas. So making sure you report effectively is important. And also that policies and governance around what you're going to do to monitor that storage as it grows doing a bit of predictive analysis around it is always useful. So then you may know that you know what, you're going to run out of that full storage in three months, in three years, or even 30 years, and you know it's not necessarily things you need to worry about. So thank you for tuning in, and hopefully we'll see you back on the value add soon.